Over 400,000 sites have now been listed for protection by Historic England. The latest additions to the National Heritage List include the head office of the bike manufacturer Rally in Nottingham and an Art Deco terminal building at Birmingham Airport. Lizo Mazimba has more. The Duchess goes on to Birmingham to open the new airport that has cost well over a quarter of a million pounds. The Elmden building, opened almost 80 years ago by the Duchess of Kent, was the original terminal at what was to later become Birmingham Airport. It's now been given listed status as an outstanding piece of 1930s Art Deco architecture. The number of listed sites in England has now reached 400,000 thanks to today's latest additions. The criteria are, are, are quite wide-ranging. Some of the time it would be to do with architectural merit and quality. Sometimes it would be to do with engineering uh, innovation and design innovation. Other times it would be to do with an amazing story to do with the community or an individual or, or just the, the sheer beauty of a space or a place. Other buildings to be newly listed include Birch's Squatter's Cottage in Shropshire, a now rare example of the kind of agricultural accommodation that was once common in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. The former Raleigh Cycle Company head office in Nottingham is also included. It has an exterior decorated with panels showing children holding bicycle parts and tools mimicking a production line. It was built in 1931 and, for many years, the firm was the world's biggest manufacturer of bicycles. And more recent buildings like Plymouth's Theatre Royal, which was opened in 1982 and which is seen as a striking and sophisticated example of 20th century design. Being listed means a site receives special protection, hopefully ensuring that it can continue to be appreciated and enjoyed by future generations. Lisa Mazimba, BBC News.